Hey there internets, I'm Michael and today on Two Can Play That Game I'm going to teach you how to play Air Cards, which is a game for playing at Aircon. So to start, you will have needed to collect the components to play the game on your way into the convention. So do that first if you haven't already done so. What you should have is the Aircon dice, which is just a little D6 with the Aircon logo on, and also three plastic tokens, which will be your life tokens for the game. But don't worry, you can still play even if you run out of these. And the final thing you're going to need is your blank air card. On the back of your air card you'll find the rules that I'm explaining here just in case you do need to refer to them at any point. On the front side of this you're going to want to put your name and also optionally draw a little picture of yourself like I've done so here. Then you'll need to fill in your stats and there are five different stats to do. There is firstly rules explaining, secondly table flipping, thirdly strategy Fourth is quarterbacking, and the fifth and final one is cooperation. You'll be splitting a total of 1,000 points between all these five different categories, but you must have a different value in each of the categories. You can't have 200 in all of them, say. And the game sort of works like top trumps. So the higher your stat is in one of these categories, the more likely you are to win a challenge in that category. So that's everything you need to play. How do you then win the game? Well, at the end of the convention, the person who's managed to collect the most of these life tokens will win the game. So how do you get more of these life tokens then? Well, as long as you have at least one life token left, you may talk to another con-goer and issue a challenge, sort of like declaring a duel, but with less slapping. However, you can't challenge someone you've already declared a challenge against, and you can't immediately challenge someone back who's just challenged you. You can do it later on in the convention, just not right away. It's also important to note that you can challenge someone, even if they have none of these lives, left themselves. Then, to resolve the challenge, you will take your dice and you will roll it. Whatever number the dice shows is the category that your challenge is going to be in from 1 to 5. If, however, you roll the lovely Aircon logo, you'll get to pick which category you do it in. Presumably your highest stat. Then you'll compare each player's stat in that given category, and whoever has the highest value is the winner. If there is a tie, the challenger will win the draw. Also. Whoever does win, be it challenger or the person being challenged, they will take one life token from the person who lost. Obviously, if the person losing has no life tokens, then the winner gets nothing. Also, it's important to note that this is possible for you to gain lives even if you had none. If someone challenges you when you had no lives and you win, you'll gain a life. You'll keep partaking in challenges, either issuing them if you've got a life left or just accepting them from other people until either you run out of people to have challenges with or you leave the convention. Either way, when you do leave, be sure to put your air card and all your life tokens in one of the envelopes provided. You'll then hand this in on your way out of the convention. The winner will then be whoever managed to collect the most life tokens. Then, after the event, the winner and runner-up will be announced on the Aircon Facebook page, so do be sure to take a look and like it. Plus, as an added incentive to play the game, on top of the fun of the game itself, the winner and runner-up will be receiving fabulous prizes. For the winner, there will be a £10 gift voucher to Travelling Man, and also a copy of In a Bind. The runner-up will also be receiving a copy of In a Bind. And that is everything you need to know about how to play air cards. I do hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. And of course, if you have, please do subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends and family, as well as taking a look at the rest of the videos on the channel. And do also take a look at us on social media. You can find us on Facebook and on Twitter. And as always, thanks for watching and bye for now.